What's up guys, Sinistalker here, and this video will be a nice Friday night. Frights! <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I had to do it left like that. But yes, yeah, a little fun Friday night frights. Let's get it done right about now. I'm gonna pick out a random cool tape from the collection right over there. Play it on the, v on the TV, on the VHS. 4K VHS, that's how I'm gonna, that's how I do it. This installment of Friday Night Frights will be a little bit different because I'm gonna show some movies that have really great cover art. It's like a couple clips of the movies, but have like the movie itself is really, really bad. Misleading VHS cover art. So that'll be like this installment of Friday Night Frights. And also I'll show some other stuff at the end of this video too. Some other kind of cool things, you know, that kind of deal. So wait, wait for that. And I'm getting a little bit thirsty right now, a little bit thirsty. Um, you know what? My last video, I got that weird Orbitz looking drink. And so from that, from the uh, cool H Mart, like the Asian market. So I'm going to try that right now in the video. It's been the fridge now getting nice and cold for the past day or so now. So let's go get that drink. It's been in the fridge for like over a day now. So it's right down over here. Here it is. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. <laughs> look at how this looks. Like, what is in this? Like, look at this thing. It says it's basil C, but it looks really. It definitely looks weird. It looks, it looks like, you know, like, I don't know, like, like eggs, like alien eggs. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this open and pour it in the glass I'm gonna get from the cabinet. And so we get a better look at it. This is, this looks real, I'm sure it tastes good though. Like pomegranate drink with basil seed. Um, looks like it's from Taiwan, like with this. I think that's Taiwanese um, lettering. I could be wrong though. But yeah, interesting stuff. There it is. And does it say shake it up? Do, what, what do I do with this thing? Refrigerate. Um, I think I shake it up. I think it says shake it up. I don't know if that's right, but God, it, look, it looks freaky as hell. So I got my, normally I get my beer glass, but let's do this, I'll pour, I'll pour this stuff in there. Let's go try this out. That was so hard, that was hard to get off. I was like, oh my God. See how it smells real quick? It smells okay. <laughs> let's, let's crack this open, huh? Here we go. Let's see how this is. I don't know if you guys ever had this before, but there we go. Oh, it looks, it looks like bugs in there. <laughs> oh my God, it looks freaky. It looks freaky. Orbit style, it's definitely like, you know, Orbit's kept on Orbeez in the video, but yeah, the Orbit's looking drink. There it is. Oh man, look at that. That looks, oh, that looks like a science experiment. Look at this thing, it looks Freaky! I don't know why. It just it looks really like like a textured nightmare. Look at that. It look like little bugs or something. I don't know, they look real freaky. Now let's go try this out. A pomegranate basil flower drink. Let's go do this right now. Really no smell to it. It has like actually it's, it smells like kind of kind of weird. Oh man, this is this is freaky me out. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. It's, it's, oh man. Ah, oh, it's very, it's very, it's like, it's strange. There's little seeds that's what I'm putting my tongue out, you know? I'm not being flirty. I'm showing you that, what it looks like. <laughs> it's not too bad. It almost tastes like, like thick, like like a like a gel. See, it's kind of thick, kind of, but it looks freaky weird. That thing. It's it's very weird. Hmm. Oh, the liquid part. The little seed things are like flavorless, but the like the liquid tastes like not bad, but it doesn't taste that good either. I don't know what it is. It's very, very strange. But yeah, there we go. Oh, I think I'm good with that now. Oh man, yeah. So that's what it is. That is what the pomegranate drink with basil seed is. Right there. Interesting stuff, very interesting. All right, since we had that interesting drink, Let's get a interesting batch of movies. What shall it be? Of course, I already know. It's gonna be movies 
They have cool cover art. The movie itself, I think, is pretty horrible or misleading. So it's these ones usually. Like I'm gonna show like a little bit of this. It's usually the ones that have like the real life um, actress on it, like our actors. Like it looks really cool. Like this is a unicorn home video release. Classic unicorn home video. These are known for like their, you know, their clam shells up over there. But then like in the late 80s, mid, mid late 80s, they started doing slip cases, which is like this. And look at that cool cover art. Girls on the road, the car in the background looks very rad looking like that. Look at the way the, like the reflection off the lights look. The girl, she's like, you know, all hacked up. This attractive girl. She's like on the ground, bloodied up. And you think, oh my God, this is gonna be crazy though. You know, look, check out the, the synopsis of this thing. A psycho killer on the loose, hitchhikers, craziness, a violent film for mature audiences. And when you put it on, it's definitely something not like that. This is from what, the year 1986. So yeah, so that's one of them right there, which I'll show you guys in a bit. And I got a couple of them down here. But kind of the same thing with that, uh, the, like the actors on the cover. So like, you know, like normal cover art, we get, you know, like a drawing or a painting like that, you know? Um, these ones had like, you know, actors on it, like, like real photos. Like it's one of them too, straight jacket, the, like the Genesis movies. Cool looking boxes, like look at that, got a psycho in the background, she's in a straight jacket, ripped up. Should be pretty neat, but this, you know, when you see something like this, if no actual pictures of the movie itself, it's probably bad movie, very misleading. Usually it's like a public domain movie they put on these movies, another Genesis one. Like look at that cover art, the guy in the motorcycle with some, you know, babe on the back right there, chain going on, Sinner's Blood. Um, looks really cool. Check that out. 1987, a lot of these mid 80s ones did this stuff. A lot of tapes did this kind of thing. A terrifying tale of insane gang of bikers that wrecks havoc on a small town. They mutilate, torture, and create a reign of horror that's not to be believed. Filmed in a classic style of the 60s. Yeah, these ones are 60s movies. They're like 60s weird American movies or British movies they put on these things. So I'll show you guys like some examples. I'll pop it on TV in a bit. But yeah, show some of those because it's, you know, Friday Night Frights. These are frightfully bad who they are. But, you know, some little, the cool cover art though. I definitely like this one. I think this one's very cool looking. All right, so here you go. I'm gonna check out a little bit of this. Girls on the Road, probably have the unicorn insignia show up in a little bit. You know, this, no, no, it just, it just shows this. It usually has like a cool unicorn uh, logo of it right there. The older tapes have it like that, but this one, not. Nah. But as you can see, <laughs> very 1960s looking. Um, not what you would think would be a horrific tale of gore by this cover. See about the movie, it's definitely like a dated movie. It looks like it's definitely made in the 70s. So it could be late 60s, early 70s by the look of it. Um, almost has a porn look to it in a weird way. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, a little bar room fight right now. Might have a little something right here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. A little, little, little cheesiness, a little blood, little blood going on right there. You know, there, you know, there you go. So far, the movie, the movie is pretty bad. Um, got these girls trying to, you know, like these hitchhikers. Definitely like is that early seventies, late sixties type style, and things happen to them. You know, but it's just, it's just really kind of a boring, dated sort of movie. Um, got those. Those guys look creepy as hell. Oh yeah, that movie, it's 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 pretty bad. So let's go check out the other ones, see how which ones are like the worst out of the bunch I'm gonna be showing. I'm gonna be just showing those three. So we'll see which ones are the worst ones. So far this one is pretty, pretty awful. Let's go put on that straight jacket one. I'm definitely, cause I haven't seen that, I think I haven't seen, I think I seen that one time only years ago. So um, let's go see how it looks. Straight jacket, look at that cool cover. The movie is not gonna be that cool. But at least this has a nice, you know, Little something right there, but yeah, it looks very like 70s or something. Look at her, it says 1980. This was made, so yeah, there you go. All right, so they're in this mental institution. Uh, there is a girl in a straight jacket, you can see right there, she's all in that. So it looks a lot interesting. The other one, fast forwarding through this thing for the past 15 minutes, it's been a lot of just stuff like this, just kind of boring, kind of, kind of dialogue, and just kind of. 
nothing happening. It looks like a crazed maniac is on the loose. Like she's gonna become like some twisted killer. It's like, oh man, yeah, yeah, definitely not that good. Gotta love the VHS misleading cover art. You've been warned. As you can see, I'm fast forwarding. <laughs> nothing, nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. <laughs> it's just a bunch of talk at this house. No killings or anything insane like that. Just, just a bunch of whatever. I honestly can't take any more of this one. This one is so, wow. It's just draw. It's just a bunch of dialogue going on. It's just nothing happening. Very boring. Very just dry and nothing. So let's go check out the last one. Sinner's Blood. It's hopefully that one makes up for this one. Hopefully something. And this one's supposed to run over the back of it. It's supposed to be horrific, crazy bang of, you know, gang of bikers doing all kinds of nut, nut, nutty stuff. Uh, but, you know, let's, let's see how this is. I don't know. Uh, it's probably not like that, though. I, it's, it's probably, probably not. There we go. Is this a Genesis logo? And yes, it is. You finally get a logo of the film company. You know, it looks really faded looking, but that looks so 80s rad. How that looks, the pink, a little phantasm orb ball coming at you like that that is great stuff now that looks low budget as all hell but that's okay look at that <laughs> look at this a very psychedelic looking right there what is happening here okay and just like the other movies well at least you know girls on the road in this one 1960s early 70s look to them the last one straight jacket which was boring is all hell Looked like it was made in, 18, in 1980. These are definitely dated. <laughs> oh my God. Like these weird movies, they, they, you know, do these imposter cover arts with this imposter movie. So far we got some action now. I'm fast forwarding, trying to find something. The beginning of the movie looked pretty cool with that knife to that, you know, that girl looked like, okay, but then that, after that, nothing. But because we have a fight here, Couple guys on a cliff that could be this, this biker gang of sadistic people. Who knows whether they're, they're fighting each other or something? What the? You think of that punch? He did like a tumble. Look at this. He's just like he, the guy. Just he literally just fell down himself to go after that guy. Big piece of wood. He's gonna uh, hit him in the face, or I mean, I don't know. What's he do? Oh, he hits him into there, and he flips over, and he falls to a bush. He's he's dead. Only cool thing was that. Um, they all sucked. All these movies sucked. So I'm sorry I tortured you guys with this, but kind of like maybe a little VHS education of watch out for misleading VHS cover art. Look for tapes because if the tapes have live action pictures in them that look really, really cool, the movie will suck pretty much. The movie will, will be horrible like I showed you guys up here. I was hoping for something, like at least this one, like had hey, kind of out of the three, Sinner's Blood was the best out of the three, which ain't saying much. He said that that cheesy fight down the mountain and that girl getting bladed up at the beginning, that was it. Other than that, it was just a bunch of like bikers and nothing really funny and dumb happening, just a bunch of boring stuff. So sorry for torturing you guys with that. That was too frightful. You know what I mean? Like in a bad way, but now I'll show you guys something else that's that'll make up for it, hopefully. I'll show you some of my old fan gory is. These are all from the 90s. There's a few in there, I think, from the early 80s, which I ordered when I was a kid. But these are all from the 90s Fangoria's. Those are my favorite ones, the 80s and 90s. I got a few of the newer ones, you know, like, you know, early 2000s, and I stopped. But I, I, I would buy, I never subscribed to it. I would, always, I would buy these at, like, uh, like Walden Bookstore back in the day and, you know, places like that. And maybe I'll open up one or two of them, look inside real quickly, but kind of show you an overview of my classic Fangoria's. It'd be kind of fun to do this, I think, because I go down memory lane of the Fangoria's. I love all these. I'll start, I'll start on this side right here. So we got the classic um, Warlock Armageddon. Pretty good one, the sequel to Warlock. I want to look in the back too, because sometimes you have these neat things for sale. Like see these like, cool model kits. I feel like that upside down, so I can put them back in order. I think I have them in order, kind of, I think. We got Ticks right up here. Good movie. Is that takes? I like how like the things in the side, you know, has uh, fortress, needful things, whatever's coming out at the time. Robot Wars coming on video cassette ninety three. So this is ninety three. Holy crap! Way back when, I didn't realize that it was that old. I always kept these in pretty good condition. Even as a kid, I always kept these in uh, decent shape. I never messed around with my Fangoria's. Actually, I used to put these 
in my binder at school. Like those old binders you can like put stuff in there like papers and stickers like the see-through front of the binder, the cover. I would put my Fangorias in there. What is this, Dark Horse Models? Um, I, man, my very first issue I got from my uncle, uh, which I had signed the Fangoria with Robert Englund, which I gotta put this in a, in a magazine frame and put it on the wall, like, you know, over there somewhere. So I'm, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. I always forget about doing that, but I'm gonna hit Michael's probably this week and definitely try to remember to get a nice proper frame for this and put this up and display it properly. I'll take, I'll need make sure, I'll put this one to the side. You know, put this to the side. This has Wolf here, Jack Nicholson. Check that out. And look at this, I have some Gore Zones up in here too, mixed in there. Classic Gore Zones, I used to love Gore Zones. You guys that get Gore Zones when you were younger? Gore Zone was cool. It was like a, like a, look at, has, look at this, has a back of brain scan. Check that out. A little ad for that. That's awesome. But yeah, Gold Gore Zone. Love that. Jason Goes to Hell. I used to love getting that old Jason Goes to Hell stuff when that came out. That's a definitely, definitely good. That's, that's a lot of full moon ads. Look at these like trancers, a bunch of them so far. Um, look at this, talks about Dead Alive up in here. Uh, I don't have Dark. No, I'll open this one up, see how it looks inside actually. I remember having this one in the front of my cover a lot as a kid in school. Let's kind of go through here and see what kind of neat things. Those have pretty cool ads. This is from April of 93. It says right up over here. You can see right there, April of 93. It's crazy, like I had this for that long. The so memories of this thing. And kind of let's go thumb through it and see what is in here. I'll be careful, of course. And that kind of thing. Actually, in the back of these ads, like these things up over here, I don't know if it'll be in this one, but that's where I ordered my Chucky doll at. The one I have, you know, over there with the one with like the, the purple lips and stuff like that. That's why I ordered it. I ordered it from one of these uh, catalog things for like $40, you know, my mom gave me the money for it. And that's where I got it from actually. It was through like a little, a little advertise, like a little ad type thing. It's just neat kind of going through these, all the back issues, which are for a good deal at the time, you know? Um, now they're worth a lot more money in some of these issues, of course, but I like all these like cool ones. I always, always remember seeing this one a lot. I remember as a kid, I always wanted to, I wanted to get one of those skulls as a kid. I always thought this chick on the cover was a hot babe. I was like, oh man, who is that? You know, when I was a kid, <laughs> like a young teen and all that stuff. Oh man, look at this right up here. I was like, cool, you know, stuff in there, the advertising the hoard, all the classic stuff. Like this one shows the video, like different tapes you can get, horror movies at the time. Like the house on Tombstone Hill, great low budget one right there. Love all that stuff. It's like going back in time, get Dead Alive, showing like Dead Alive stuff in here, which is really rad. Love. That's when I first saw the movie. It was way back when. Good old Dead Alive. Look at that. That's awesome. Great, great stuff. Memories, man. Freaking of Horrors. Check that out with the guest list over there. Look at that. Weekend of Horrors, LA. Check 1993. That'd be so cool to go back in time and go see that again. That'd be neat. And here's, uh, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. But yeah, just neat kind of checking these out. And like, you know, good old classic, classic Fangoria. Look at this, Batman Forever in there, Congo, H.R. Geiger, that's rad. Jason Goes to Hell, the special issue of the final Friday. I remember, I was so excited for this movie. I was like, yes, I can't wait to check it out. And then when I saw it, I was very disappointed in it because Jason looks so awesome looking, I thought, and then it barely showed him in the movie. Just the beginning and the end, and that was it. It was just, you know, yeah, it, it, I like it better when I got older, but when I, I was so mad when I first saw it. I just got that cool model kit. I know off to the next pile right up over here, you get the stand, which I show in that new Stephen King set I was talking about on my last video from Paramount with the nice Stephen King collection. A bit over like that. Invisible. I got that tape actually too. Here we go. Phantasm 3. Jason Goes to Hell stuff. Birds 2. All that. Yeah, look at all the full moon stuff. F full moon, man was on their game back when. That's why, man, I used to always love Full Moon way back when, because it would always advertise that. That's when Full Moon was good. They had good actors back when. This, the film quality, the, the video zones was so good back when Full Moon. I loved it, loved it. The Mouth of Madness, um, Chainsaw Masters, the new one, the new Chainsaw, the, the Next Generation, which was a piece of junk. Now, the surprise, another Full Moon title, <laughs> Lurking Fears. This was a great, this is a great cover right here too. Look at this, Return Living Dead 3. Great cover on that. Man, I, I had the biggest crush on her 
um, when that movie came out, I was like, man, I was like a fanboy. I was like, I wanted to like write her like, hey, I thought you were so pretty. I, you know, I was like, man, how does zombie ever right there? <laughs> I love Return Limited Limited 3. Um, you know, it's a romantic horror movie. We go Army of Darkness. Great classic cover. I also had this a lot in my uh, binder at school too. These cool model kits from back when. Nice. Look, this is a good. Look at that. Look at check out this cover. It's a great one. They're all good, but some of these ones just stick out a lot. Jason goes to hell with Jason on it. Love it. And this is a yeah, a couple of old ones. That's good. that's one of the ones I reordered from like the eighties or like yeah, nineteen eighty nine. Look at that. That's when I opened up, opened up this one too, so you guys can check it out. But look at this thing. And what I love too are these neat masks from back when. You know, if you're an old school Fangoria collector, you remember all these masks, like these ads for this company. Really, really cool. I think I bought stuff from them, like little prop pieces later on. Um, I was into effects makeup and I would buy stuff like that. You know, my mom would give me money for it. You know, my grandma, and I would get a, yeah, something that's doing a special occasion, but did it get in school, whatever. I would get little things like that to get. So they always supported my horror habit needs, which was great. I haven't opened up this issue in years, man. That's look at that. That's a great cover right there with Jason on it. Look at that thing. That is a great, great cover right there. So cool. Some nice pictures of it. I'll show a little better. There you go. Look at that. Nice issue, Julius. And look at that. And from that to something else, yeah, Blood Salvage. Pretty good gore movie. Look at that. Really good stuff up in that thing. Nightmare 5, Dream Child, with that cool motorcycle part, which was, you get the uncovered, you see like a lot more crazy gore in that sequence. This is a lot longer. Yeah, I remember yeah, going through this a lot as a kid, this issue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Memories, Chud, Chud 2, I think. Yeah, it was those masks, uh, mask, uh, cool mask company right there. Look at that. I love these. Love looking at those old cool ads for this stuff right up here. And I hope this part's cool because you're enjoying this part. But being like long and drawn out, you know. I just want to show you because I get sometimes requests for showing, you know, old fan gourds. You know what? I'll clue that in this video right up here. Looks like that's the last of that right there. And it goes this with the classic t-shirts. Look at these. Ah, oh, that's a good one. These are all good. Damn, I would love this. That'd be so cool. The clips. Oh yeah. Ray versus Jason. Gonna have that commemorative issue for that movie. And then here, get some like sign stuff. I would go to those signs a lot back when for Delirium magazine. So get some of those in here too. Signed by a bunch of people. Uh, you know, back years ago. I would go to those a lot. So yeah, I got some of those in there mixed in. Rude Morgue. And yeah, it's actually a really good horror hound issue right here. It talks about a lot of the uh, VHS stuff. It's actually a really good issue. Classic issue is this one. So good. About horror movies and stuff on VHS only. Really good, actually. That one. So next time I'll show my next, uh, another stack of Fangoria's. I have another stack, like double this, too, in the closet, which I'll show in another future video. All right, that pretty much does it right there for this Friday Night Frights. A little bit different take on it on this episode up here. So hope you guys enjoyed this one for what it was. Kind of want to show some weird tapes or misleading VHSs and like, you know, great cover art, bad, bad movie. And then I'll show you some Fangorias, which I hope I made up for it right there. We're going through those, some of those old cool covers of Fangoria. I hope it brought back some memories if you guys remember getting those ones back in the 90s and that kind of thing. And if not, just kind of seeing these for the first time and seeing some really cool cover art and that kind of thing. And I hope if you guys did you guys collect Fangoria from back in the day? Let me know in the comment below. And if you guys did, do you still have your Fangorias? Did you keep all them? Did you lose them? Did you mess them up? Let me know what, uh, if you still have them or that kind of thing right there. And so if you guys if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to the comment below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll appreciate it right there. Make sure to hit the notification ring button so you don't miss a video. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next video. Have a great rest of the night. I'll see you then when I see you.